Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's good to perk up a picture by just pushing some of the colours. A very basic way to do that is with RGB. In other words, push the reds, the greens and the blues. You can do that in things like uh, with HSL and selective colour controls, which just take where there is red and boost it. But you can also do it by looking for the colours everywhere. So let's get going and show that. So if I hit Adjustment and Channel Mixer. This is one of the um, most useful tools in many ways, um, but it's also one of the trickiest. So let's look at how this works. If I want to boost reds here, I turn up the red here. But look what happens. Everything goes red, even the whites. And it's because it simply takes every single pixel, looks at red. When I got red at the top here, all of these controls are only going to change red. So if I, this one turning up here says where there is red, make more red. And if I turn the green up, it says where there is green, make more red. Look at the grass there, see how much more it's coming up at the bottom. So if I'm going to reset for the moment and look at the pixels, and we'll go to view, studio, and the info panel and we'll put it up here and we'll drag this little circle down over the sky there and you look like that looks like it's blue but look at the red green and blue here blue is the dominant color it's got more blue in it than other colors but there's still quite a lot of red in there which means if i when i'm looking at reds here any of these controls here because there's red green and blue here because blue is the biggest one any change in blue is going to have the biggest effect here, changing the red the most. So, if I turn red up, see, it has actually maximised the red there. So, which means it's now pink, because red is now the dominant colour. So, I can bring that back down, because with the channel mixer, these should all add up to 100. So, I've added 100 here, so I'm going to take off 50... Minus 50 on green, minus 50 on blue. And so the whites are now back to white again. However, other colours, so in here, for example, where there's a lot of red, it's got a lot redder. But in the sky as well, look at what's happened here. Taking down the green and the blue, because the green and the blue were, there's more here, it's in proportion to these. It's pushed the reds down more here than it pushed the red up there. So the sky here is now largely green and blue, and green and blue makes cyan, which is why the sky has changed that way. So not only is red going up, but the opposite of red is being affected as well, which is cyan. So having said that, let's just quickly do the other two. So green, I'm going to put that up to 100% green, and then minus 50 and minus 50 down here and then with blue and put that one up to 200 and put minus 50 there and minus 50 there so we can take off the info panel we don't need that now but you can see now this is the overall effect see the way that the reds green and blues are, are boosted quite significantly what we can do as well now, because this is quite an extreme effect, is to moderate it with opacity. So I'll use the opacity down here. You could select that layer and do it up there. And I'll just bring this down, all the way down. This is the original. And then this is a good thing to do, is go to the bottom and just gradually move it upwards until it's about right. Yeah, so that is, that's an improvement on that without it going completely mad. So there's opacity about 50% here, but the individual pictures will show the difference. So we really made a significant improvement in this, brought out the reds, greens and blues, made the picture more lively without necessarily overdoing it. Although if you, that's what you like, that's perfectly okay. So what we can do if you want now, if you click on add preset, you can put it into the, the save that and come back to it via the adjustment tab. So there we go, turn that off, and that's our RGB booster. 
Thank you very much for watching.